and welcome to Clark of Court dot of Clark of Court Live. I'm sorry. My name is Joyce Martinez. I am the Assistant Chief Deputy Clerk of Civil Division for Honorable Dorothy Brown, Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. I will be your host this evening. You may view Clerk of Court Live on Can TV Channel 21 or on CanTV.org slash live. This is a live call-in show, and we welcome any questions or comments uh, from our audience. The number is 312-738-1060, so feel free to call in. Please note the contact information for the Office of the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. We're headquartered in the Daly Center at 50 West Washington with other locations around Cook County. Our telephone number is 312-603-5031 and our website is cookcountyclerkofcourt.org. Today I'm happy to introduce this week's guest, Laureen Bargo, who is a manager in traffic division for the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County Illinois and we're going to be speaking on the topic of traffic ticket search. Um, and Thank you very much for the introduction Joyce and I'm pleased to be here on Clerk of Court Live. Now tell our viewers basic information about traffic division of the Circuit Court of Cook County. A traffic court um, not only in the Daly Center Cook County um, Chicago area but also in the suburban areas deal with a variety of tickets. Two of those types of tickets are major tickets where you receive a ticket for driving under the influence or a suspended license or something of that nature. The majority of the tickets are minor tickets, red light tickets, stop signs, speeding, low speeding, um, insurance charges. Now what should you do when you're given a traffic ticket? Well, the first thing you need to do, Joyce, is to look at the ticket. On the upper right-hand corner, there is a section that's marked citation number, or what we call ticket number. We use them interchangeably. Now, what are the options for handling it? Well, there are several. Caller, we have a caller online. Caller, go ahead. Hello. Hello. Um, I called your office for the amnesty program, but one of your representatives would not allow me to pay for my parking tickets um, or red light camera tickets. Is there something um, that your agency can do to include these tickets in your next amnesty program? Well, to answer that, unfortunately, the clerk's office doesn't deal with red light camera tickets or with parking tickets. Those tickets are dealt with from the municipality in which they were issued. In Chicago, if you need some information, and you may want to call them in regards to the amnesty program that they may have, their phone number is 312-744-PARK, P-A-R-K. And you can find out information from them. Thank you, caller. Um, now, Lauren, you were going into uh, basic information, but also uh, what to do when you're given a traffic ticket. So what are the options for handling uh, when you're given a traffic ticket? Well, the two areas on the traffic ticket on the bottom right-hand side, um, one area is marked you can mail in or you must mail in a response. Um, the other area is marked you must appear in court. In that area that's marked you must appear in court, it will have a court date, a court room, and a court time, and most importantly, the court location. Wow. Now, um, can I find in ticket information on the internet? Oh, you sure can, especially since the clerk has pushed the clerk's office into the 21st century in regards to um, different information and technology. And its option is available on the website. Um, there's a section called Process your ticket online. And as I mentioned before, the tickets where an officer marked you must respond or mail in the response, he has given you an envelope. If you don't want to mail in the envelope and you want to use the other alternative, you can process the ticket online. Now, is this information on the section mark online traffic ticket system? Yes, it is, Joyce. Um, you can click on that and it'll say process your ticket online and it'll 
to pinpoint you to an area where you need to enter the ticket number and you can go from there. Now, caller, um, go ahead. We have a caller. Oh, good. Caller, can you please repeat that question? Unfortunately, we cannot hear what the caller is saying. Um, if you want to call back, uh, we'll be more than happy to answer your question. Um, going back to the online tickets, what information do you need in order to search? Um, well, in order to search online, of course, you're going to need the very important ticket number. There is also a section online, if you look in the blue area to the left of the website, that says online case info. If you click on that and you'll scroll to the right, you'll see traffic ticket information or traffic ticket search. When you go to that area, if, if you need to, because um, you don't have the ticket number, you can put your driver's license number in and it should come up with or will come up with any tickets that you did receive. Now, what if the information does not appear? That's a good question, Joyce. Um, unfortunately, sometimes the clerk's information, it, it's not on the, on the system yet because we haven't received the ticket. So even though you may have it in your hand, the clerk's office hasn't received it. Um, it takes about five to ten working days for us to get it into the system, sometimes a little bit longer. So if, um, if you don't get it the first time because it's not there, please try again. It will eventually show up. We have another caller. Caller, go ahead. Hello, yes. I wanted to know, could you pay for a ticket through e-filing? No, you online. can't pay online. Uh, you can pay online, but you cannot pay with e-filing. Um, you can pay only certain tickets online. And you would have to talk to the operator to find out which tickets are payable online because not all tickets are payable online. Now, you're speaking of uh, paying online. Um, also, you know that the clerk has a mobile app. Are you able to use her mobile app um, to get information regarding the ticket? Yes, Joyce. That's a great, a, a great question. Yes, you can use the mobile app to find out information. Just click on it and you can go to Ticket Search and you can find out information that way. Wow. Now, some people are like intimidated by online. Um, what if I just wanted to call in and pay by phone? Can I do that? Well, you can call in the automated tra traffic ticket system 312. 603-2000. It will prompt you to, to enter either a uh, number one if the ticket was issued outside of the Chicago area or number two for information about a ticket inside the Chicago area issuance. Um, the information that you can get through the automated system is only available if you have the ticket number. But in case you don't, you will be connected directly to an operator who would surely assist you in your endeavor. Wow, great. Now what if I wanted to come in person? Oh, you can come in person and the clerk has made it so easy now that all of the systems intertwine. So you don't have to come down to Chicago Traffic Court at the Daily Center. You can go to any of the other five districts and you can ask them for information and they'll be able to pull it up at the counter. Wow. Now. If you have a line, do I have to stand in line to get information? Another great thing the clerk has accomplished. She has given um, every section of the clerk's office has a digital access terminal. Through the digital access terminal, you're able to enter a traffic search engine. When you look at this section here, the good thing about it, Joyce, is you don't have to have a ticket number if you're trying to look up the information. You can look it up by your name and date of birth. And this way you can find the information you're looking for without standing in line. Wow. Now, speaking about uh, ways that you can respond. Oh, we have a caller online. Uh, caller, go ahead. 
hello, my son is in college and he will not be able to attend the scheduled court date. What should I do? Since he received the tickets, he will have to appear. But you have the option of, of coming to court and stepping in front of the judge and explaining to the judge that he is away at school and the judge would hopefully give you another uh, date that he can attend. Thank you, caller. Now, uh, tell me about any tickets that you get where it says where you must respond or pay. Um, what options do you have regarding those tickets? On those tickets where it says you must respond or pay, the officer has given you an envelope. On that envelope, there are three options. Option A is to plead guilty and pay the fine. This ticket will go against your driving record. Option B is to plead guilty and, and decide or select to enroll in traffic safety school. Uh, pay the fine, but this will not go on your driving record. There are limitations, though. You cannot have attended traffic safety school within the last year. Option three is to plead not guilty and request a court date. Depending on the means by which you selected this option, if you did it through the mail, you will get a card in the mail telling you what your next court date or what the court date is. We have another caller on the oh, line. Great. Caller, go ahead. Yes, I have a question for you. I was recently at the Bridgeview Courthouse and uh, on a very minor charge, a seatbelt violation. And I'm a little disturbed about this whole affair because does the, doesn't the judge have access uh, when he's on the bench to take a look at your record? And if he saw somebody that, never, that hadn't had a ticket in over 25 years, doesn't he have access to that at that time? Because when you go to pay that ticket after you plead guilty, you go down to the first floor there, they have access to your information. But doesn't the judge have that? Because, you know, there are certain times when a judge has to, should show, I should say, should show some leniency. But it, it's horrid when uh, your minimum, your minimum uh, you walk away from there paying a minimum of $230, and they act like they're doing you a favor by saying, well, $10 was the fine, but we have to charge you 220 in court costs. So, again, my question is, do they have access to that, you know, on a computer screen to your uh, driving history before they adjudicate this? Because, and also, they might want to record, video some of these things because someone went up before the judge who had the exact same charge as I did, a seatbelt violation, plus an obstructed rearview mirror, and he dismissed her because she had a baby with her, carried a baby up there. Oh, that, you know, that, that's got to make a, a judge feel great. Well, I'm going to let this poor, nice young woman off the hook with a baby, but they give, a, give somebody else a, a, a guilty, you know, a, make you plead guilty and pay that big fine. So do they have access to that record on their computer before they uh, decide uh, how they're going to adjudicate this? Again, because he let somebody walk. He even said, uh, 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 I'm sorry to drag you down here today. And she just scooted with, and he dismissed, dismissed both those charges. Again, two charges, one the same as mine and another an obstructed mirror. And I am damn pissed off about it. So do they have access to that information? Thank you. Well, to answer your question, um, as you... Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any legal access in regards to whether or not they have that information. That would be a legality. Um, but I can tell you that it is not um, the judge who does the prosecuting. It is the prosecutors. Um, in the different municipalities or the suburban areas, it would be the city attorney that prosecutes the cases. In Chicago, it would be a corporation counsel or a state's attorney they would be the one who have access to the record and decide whether they want to prosecute. We have another caller on the line. Caller, go ahead with your question. They have that information. That would be a legality. Um, but I can tell you that it is not... Caller? Now, um, one of the things that um, also is available for a traffic ticket is the automated service. Um, can you expound a little bit on the automated service that's available? Sure, I will get back to that automated service. The phone number is 312-603-2000. And that automated service um, 
gives you information regarding tickets that are issued in Cook County, which specifically it says Chicago area or the suburban area. As we are uh, wrapping up, I'm giving a little bit of information regarding our a little information regarding upcoming um, events that's going to happen with the clerk's office. Um, the such event is the expungement summit that's coming up on Saturday, June 10th, 2017 at Unity Junior High School at 2115 South 54th Avenue in Cicero, Illinois. Um, for more information, you can call 312-603 five two zero zero or six zero three five two four six four one you can also contact www.cookcountyclerkofcourt.org um caller go ahead hello hello uh yes um i have a question uh i received my ticket in the Markham area, but I work near the downtown area. Would I be able to pay my ticket at any one of your facilities? You know, because it would be very, by the time I get off work, uh, the Markham courthouse is closed. That's a very good question. Um, the clerk has allowed um, and has made it possible for what we call global payments. That means that you can pay the ticket in any of the different areas or districts along with the city of Chicago. So if even if you received it in the suburban area, you can pay that ticket at the Daily Center in the lower level. All right. Thank you, caller. I'm going to remind you again about our contact information. Um, please note that we are the office of the clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. And we're headquartered in the Daily Center at 50 West Washington with other locations around Cook County. Our telephone number is 312-603-5031 and our website is cookcountyclerkofcourt.org. Well, we're almost out of time. I thank you, Lorene, uh, for providing such interesting information about traffic division and online traffic ticket system of the Clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County. And I thank you, viewers, for I thank you, viewers, for joining us. Please tune in to Clerk of Court Live next Tuesday at 4:30 p.m. when the host is Enza Ranieri and Dawn Porter, who will discuss the upcoming Second Chance. Adult Expungement Summit and how to prepare attending it. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry.